Okay, so for part two, we're going to be checking in on the filter. So how to separate the uh, steeper areas or to filter them out from your terrain. And to do this, the first thing you want to add in is a mesh explode in order to separate all the different faces. Next up, you want to add in a second deconstruct mesh, like so. And the first thing you want to do, or the only thing you want to do here, is to isolate the colors. And to do this, you need to add in a, a uh, average value to make this work. Next up, you want to add in an ARGB split with dark side of the moon uh, <laughs> icon on it. And here's a very tricky part. You need to change this integer value by clicking on your right button here or at least change into integer channels so that now you can better uh, play with the colors on the on these values the next thing you want to do then is add in a mass mass function with the larger than and add in the red value which is the one that that we wish to uh, remove with with the same red value which will now be isolated into this output being flattened and you want to add in a number slider here that, that goes up to 255, which is the color limit, and then a few more zeros so that we have a uh, rational value like this. And now all you need to do to finish this off is to add in a, uh, oh, not mesh, pardon, face calling to remove these faces. We add this in here, we pick up on our on our final mesh from the, the, pre the previous video and now we have our value here oh yeah okay <laughs> little mistake here this is this is supposed to only go up to 255,000 no more uh, and yeah naturally some less <laughs> so now if you click on your value here you can see that the red area is still present but it, as we start to slide this down set area will start to be removed and then only the final green area will remain to make this a bit smoother let's put this up to 500 once more yeah it's gonna get a bit uh, heavy now but I can assure you this will work mm. okay all set now by reactivating this area now we can smoothly push this around and the file will adjust like sh like so yeah it's quite heavy so as you can, can see it's reacting very very slowly but uh, as you can as you can see you can easily isolate uh, the the flatter areas and with this being 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 done then all you have to, to do is isolate your final mesh like this bake it and now you have your final terrain and its flattest area of course you always need to, to play to play around with these elements to make it flatter or not or not so flat yeah kind of kind of a heavy file there <clears throat> okay guys i hope you enjoyed this uh t this uh, tutorial on how to make a simple slope calculator uh, i hope to see you here next time